I cried about it, and when I saw it, it just broke my heart even more. Tears shed. The house of prayer is my way of life. That's my life. Lives changed. Lord, take care of thy people. Bless thy people. Lift us up. Mother. So we'll know that there is a tomorrow. Faith unshaken. After the house of prayer for all people in Eden caught fire Sunday morning. By Monday, investigators still trying to piece together what could have started the scorching blaze. Sometimes you have to have a downfall in life. That downfall, you can look for better things ahead. For those who loved this church, seeing it like this has been a tough reality to swallow. When I was born, my mother and father put my name on the House of Prayer Road. And I'm now 65 years old and I'm rooted and grounded in the sweet house of prayer. Theron Mincy has worshipped inside a number of house of prayer churches from Georgia to this location here in Eden. Now he reflects on his last service inside what's left of this building. It was a lot of joy, a lot of love, and the house of prayer is all about salvation. People in the community stopping to lend a helping hand. Your congregation needs a place to meet during your transition time. We would love to find a way to make that work for, for you to be able to share our building. But listen, we do thank you for the extension of love that you're showing at this moment. And God bless you. The one uplifting symbol that remains seemingly untouched at this site is this angel, a testament to their unshaken faith. We're holding our heads up high and any other House of Prayer member that sees this interview, hold your head up high and we're gonna stay in faith and love, unity,